radiographs capture the crowns of teeth of both maxilla and mandible in one image, most commonly made of the posterior teeth, used to detect the interproximal caries, calculus, and bone levels around the teeth. There are two types of bite wings, horizontal and vertical. You will need to be wearing proper personal protective equipment, leather shoes, scrubs, clinic jacket, gloves, mask, and glasses. Operatory will need pre-procedural asepsis and setup. Setup includes putting bags over the patient chair and x-ray tube, as well as the protective barriers over the on-off switch and control panel. The patient will need to be wearing a lead apron and thyroid collar for protection. The proper materials needed are x-ray film holder, XCP instruments, and rods four size two phosphor plates and film box proper assembly goes as follows insert the rod into the XCP ring next insert the x-ray film holder onto the rod like this not like this The film holder should be in the center of the ring. Next, you insert the phosphor plate, black side facing towards the tube head. The patient will be sitting upright with maxilla parallel to the floor. The patient chair should be approximately at the waist level of the operator. When placing the instrument and phosphor plate in the patient's mouth, the x-ray film holder will need to be aligned between the first and second maxillary molars, as well as the distal half of the most distal molar visible for molar projection. The position indicating device, or PID, is positioned at about positive 5 to positive 10 degrees to make sure all structures appear parallel on the maxilla and to better open contacts. The operator will adjust the exposure to be 63 kV for 0.16 seconds. After instructing the patient to hold still, the operator will leave the room and then expose the patient. Beep! Remove the device from the patient's mouth and remove phosphor plate from the holder. Remove the protective barrier, being careful to not cause contamination, and place the phosphor plate in the film box blue side down. Place another unexposed phosphor plate onto the XCP instrument correctly. Place the instrument with the alignment between the second premolar and the first molar. Position the correct angulation of the PID for exposure and adjust the KV to the correct settings. Instruct the patient to hold still, leave the room, and then expose the patient. Beep! Put the device from the patient's mouth and remove the phosphor plate. Again, remove the protective barrier and place the phosphor plate in the film box blue side down. Adjust the instrument by flipping the instrument and repeating the procedure as follows on the opposite side of the mouth. And that concludes how to do bite wings. Thanks for watching!